everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to our spring declutter challenge. I'm Steph and this is the Secret Slob channel. So all month I've been going through my entire house space by space, decluttering it, finding proper homes for everything and just getting a little bit more organized. And so far it's been feeling so much better. Wow, it's so amazing how much easier it is to clean your house when everything has a home and everything's decluttered and there isn't piles of stuff everywhere. I'm already seeing a huge difference. I hope you've been following along and that you are too. Today I'm gonna tackle my kitchen. I think I'm gonna separate it into two chunks. Well, three if you include the fridge and freezer, which I already did. So fridge and freezer, I'm gonna do pantry in one chunk and today I'm gonna do basically all of the kitchen gear. So dishes and prep stuff, Tupperware, cutlery, all that stuff. Figure out what I don't need, what we're not using. I have a feeling it's not gonna be too much stuff. I've really been able to hone down my collection of kitchen goods over the years, but there's always something, and it's always just nice to go through it. So I'm gonna do my kitchen. If you don't have time to do your whole kitchen today, don't worry about it. Try and do like one drawer or even just one little shelf in a cupboard. Every little bit counts and little by little you will make a huge difference in your decluttering journey. Once you're done that, let me know in the comments below because every single day of this challenge, I'm giving away a $100 gift card to a local store in your area and you're gonna pick the store. Let me know that you wanna win this by subscribing to the channel and leaving that comment and I'm gonna pick a winner every single day from the comment list. Okay, let's get started. The kitchen is a big job. See what happens when you declutter? You find your Christmas candy. <laughs> Okay, so not much difference in that cupboard. I feel like we're using it pretty well, but I did get rid of a couple things that kind of always feel like they're just in the way we don't use. You know, it's like that spoon, like your least favorite spoon. Why keep it? So that was like those plates and that funny little bowl. There's just no point in having it. I don't use it. I always look past it or choose it very last or don't choose it all. So goodbye, those things. That was an easy cupboard though. So I think this whole kind of area is gonna be easy, but there are hard things to come. Nothing in there to get rid of. But nice that it's nice and clean and I kind of rearranged it a little bit. All right, so one whole side of the kitchen is done. Just like that, it doesn't take too long and it's nice to be able to clean out the drawers and stuff. So I'm just gonna move along to this area and just work my way all the way around. Just get everything cleaned up, tidied out. Of course I had to save the best for last. Oh yes, behold, the Tupperware cupboard. Only worse than the Tupperware drawer, because at least the Tupperware drawer, you can see everything. The Tupperware cupboard things get lost very easily. So my only way of solving this is just to keep all my stuff at a bare minimum. Oh, 
Okay, that was pretty easy. I have all this stuff to throw away, which is just kind of random lids and things I know I'm not using. I have heard so many strategies when it comes to organizing your containers, cupboard, and your Tupperware drawer. And so a few of them that I've heard are keeping the lids on the thing so you're not always searching for lids and containers. Um, another one that I really like is buying a lot of the same kind of thing. If you have a lot of mismatched stuff, it just makes it so much harder. So I buy like these ones that have different sizes but they all have the same lid that makes a big difference and then also just like keeping your stuff to a minimum you probably are never gonna need a hundred Tupperware containers so just really try to figure out exactly what you're using and how much you're gonna need because like all of this stuff filled with leftovers wouldn't fit in my fridge anyways so it's like borderline too much but I know we use all these things so this is what I'm keeping I have a special little loose container for just a little stuff and then I kept a couple of these takeout containers if I ever want to take something out and I might not get it back because they don't very often send my good Tupperware out and about in the world. I have a special lunch ones for my kids. They go out and come back and that's it. All right, that's it for my kitchen declutter. It looks so much better in here. I didn't have a ton to throw away, but if you've ever seen my very first few videos where I decluttered my kitchen, it was a ton of stuff and every year it just gets less and less. So going through your stuff once a year just really gives you an idea of where things are. I found a couple things I had been looking for, like that one whisking or beater thing I don't know what they're called but I thought it was lost and it wasn't it was just hiding behind the cutlery tray so big win for me I hope you at least get one drawer in your kitchen decluttered today or if you have tons of energy just go for it sometimes it's easier to tackle the whole thing all at once all right let me know that you did it don't forget to subscribe and leave that comment so you can win the gift card okay I will see you in the next video bye